Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. This one is going to be basically just a recap on everything on how to build one of these traps. A lot of the stuff is scattered between my videos and people are having some hard times finding certain things. So I'm just going to cover pretty much everything in this video. So let's start over here. This area doesn't really need anything. It can basically be empty. I have a lot of farms just so I have a little bit of extra food. Basically all you need is one of each building so you can build some of these that require it. So that that area can be empty, it doesn't matter, it doesn't give any boosts that benefit it benefit during a hit. The graveyard doesn't really be, benefit us any stat wise. Really the only thing it does is unlock if I can click the more info button. Ah. Really the only thing this unlocks is something called Ultimate Execution, which basically just makes you hold a hero for seven days, I think, and then you get to execute it with the little box on the picture, and that's pretty much all it does. So there's really no point in doing this. Also, it's quite expensive. The only thing it does at max is unlocks that Ultimate Execution and puts a giant gold skull on your city, which will scare away pretty much every attacker. So there's really no benefit to actually upgrading that. So I would just leave it alone. Buildings that you want in your city. Some people use hospitals, but for this setup, I would go with barracks. And your city, you probably want to start getting the 22, 23. If you can, I wouldn't even bother with 24. That is insanely expensive and not even needed you really only need 22 to take these hits but yeah 22 will help it will give you a lot of bit of a lot of defense a lot of attack penalty and a little bit more defense on the altar and stuff like that barracks are great because they give you a lot more defense it's 11 percent for each 22 and then 12 percent for each 23 and then 14 for each 24 and the defense is the main stat you're gonna go after with this setup also it gives you a little bit of health debuff which will help you kill the march a little easier and that's why I choose barracks over hospitals and you're gonna lose about the same amount of troops with the hospitals even though they have the hospital capacity you're still gonna lose the same amount around the same amount because you are giving up that defense and that defense is going to lower the amount you lose and it kind of evens out on the losses altar in prison if you don't want an altar because well, an altar in prison because you're gonna keep your graveyard clean and not chop 65 heroes I wouldn't even worry about doing that guys I have tons of 60s and 65s around in their heroes in my graveyard and I still get hit constantly it is basically how you play the game which determines how you, if you're gonna get hit or not so I wouldn't even worry about your stats or graveyard as much because MZ is gonna keep releasing stuff constantly keeping everybody growing and keeping these big guys wanting to hit people and they've got a lot of new stuff to play with right now especially with the new 8 million marches and stuff they're gonna hit you don't worry about not getting hit it's just how you're gonna play that's gonna determine that and also you do not have to chop level 65 heroes and stuff that you capture you can let those go if you want to all you really need to do is keep an alternate account that you can chop and I made another video on this if you want more information about that but basically all you're gonna do is build a stronghold to 15 get a level 1 hero and then chop it because it only takes about 8 to 15 hours and there's another video on that if you want to go watch that and that's just an easy way to keep an active altar going Gymnos is a great one to have especially if you upgrade it to 22 or 23 it gives you a lot of extra skill points that you can use for health or extra attack or something like that I mean the points aren't actually needed but they do help a little bit 
and it's just a great one to have just for the skill points and it also lets your he hero level a little bit faster on hits and stuff like that uh, watchtower is a great one to upgrade if you can it gives you a nice attack penalty and this is not an attack debuff a lot of people mistake it for that but no this is actually 30 percent of the incoming marches attack and then 55 at 23 and then 85 at 24 takes a lot of their attack away and makes them very weak uh, forge is a great one to have at 22 if you can 23 if you can too if you are going to core I don't use cores myself because they are not needed but if you want to do that 22 will give you a 10% core range boost also a duration boost and then more at 23 and 24 and all that does is makes your cores a little bit stronger so that's a great one to have another great one to have is the walls if you upgrade the walls they will give you a little bit more trap capacity and I know it don't seem like much it's a 75 jump from 21 to 22 and then 50 to 23 and then another 75 at 24 that don't seem like very many but these traps do make a massive difference in hits and when you upgrade them you get a little bit more trap attack trap defense and trap training speed and then more at 23 and 24 now the traps that you want to use on these on this setup I like to use a good regular and wild mix and I only use war bricks and bone bricks I don't use the other traps because these bricks technically have more defense than a level 4 troop I mean a tier 4 troop and they absorb a lot of the initial hit and they're very hard to break through that is why they work a whole lot better than regular traps and they're just great to use especially for this setup be it working so well with defense and you can use strategics if you want to I've just found regulars and wilds to work a whole lot better on the traps just because the troops uh, some of them have weaknesses against other troops and you can go read about that on one of the websites the different troop types weak against others and strong against some of the others buildings that you don't really need in your city there's several of them a hospital you don't really need I just have one so I can eventually do my prison and altar same with the marketplace you don't need that you can actually tear these two down if you you're not going to use them I only have those so I can do these later on other buildings that you do not need is the storehouse the hall of war um, I forgot the other ones but you don't need any of those either basically all you see in my city is what you need to make this and if you don't have it at 22 yet there's really no rush but you need to start working towards 22 maybe start working towards 23 if you're already at 22 and have nothing else to use your hammers on but it will help to upgrade these buildings I know 1% for your barracks doesn't seem like much but after you do a lot of them it does add up quite a bit and make it does make a difference and I'm gonna go ahead and do the research while I'm right here basically you want all of combat tree and I'm not sure if it still makes you do economics to do combat tree but economics if it does make you do that so you want those two wall traps you don't really need all this I uh, just have it all but you don't need all that you just need the bricks hero tree you don't need any of this I have it it's just extra power I just like to kill monsters but you do not need any of this restorative is completely optional I have all of it. it all it does is makes your troops cost a little less it gives you some march slots so you can march a few more times 
gives you some troop capacity, altered boost duration, training speed, basically just makes training troops a whole lot cheaper. Also makes your cores last a little longer if you're going to do that. So this tree is entirely optional if you're going to do this. Strategic combat, you do not need strategics at all unless you're going to fill rallies with them. Strategic wall traps, you don't need this unless you are going to do the uh, strategic bricks and that's just the first research. Crafting tree, you want all of this and you want all of this because of these bottom ones the fourth gem slot and those are going to give you quite a bit of defense boost and help out a lot and that's pretty much all you want out of this unless you're going to craft cores is that fourth gem slot so I highly suggest you get this done March tree is optional I would not go far in this the only reason I say even do this at all is because of hero presets that will help you switch uh, switch gear around a little bit easier it'll also give you a little bit of boost I would not go past right here all this down here is kinda useless for us especially since we will not be attacking anything but if you go down here you get a little bit of boost and stuff this tree is also optional if you're gonna do that I would not go any higher than nine now for defense I would suggest you max this out as much as you can the only thing I wouldn't do is these bottom ones right here they are kinda useless I have a little bit of it it's just useless power you don't need it so down to here you wanna max everything this will give you a lot of resistance a lot of defense a lot of debuffs and everything that you really want so defense tree is one to have set bonus is completely optional it is I think about one and a half billion power if you complete it and a lot of people have it but it's basically useless research if you are not going to use full sets this only works if you actually wear a set and I don't like that because it takes a lot of your customization away you can't play with sets as much because if you do that you just have a lot of extra power you're not really making use of this and it's kind of useless to have so I don't I have a little bit of it but you don't need this at all the hero presets are kind of nice but you have to do a lot of the tree to get there and it's just not needed this is completely optional wild combat you do not need any of this strategic wild seed you do not need any of this wild traps you only need the bone bricks and that is pretty much it for research you need this optional optional you need this optional you need this optional and then you don't need any of that okay I'm gonna go over orb boost real quick and the workshop the new building that was added the other day if you don't know what that is orb boost are a great thing to have if you have the orb boost uh, if you have a bunch of orbs all you are gonna do is go into this little boost thing on each building click boost with time orbs and it's gonna give you a random boost usually on barracks it's gonna be defense or some kind of health and basically you just keep doing that over and over until your luck builds up and you'll get a pretty good size boost and then that is multiplied and this is what you get out of that I only have this on a couple a uh, couple buildings right now like this one is cavalry health uh, this one is defense and each one is going to be random what it gives if you go to 23 you have a higher chance of getting a higher boost each time you use the boost because it gives you a luck modifier and those are a good way to get a little bit of defense it won't give you a whole lot but it will give you some if you do a lot of them and then each building in your city like the altar or prison 
or stronghold will give a different boost each one has a different list of boosts that you can get and you can go read more about that online I haven't done a video about that I probably should but each building gives a different boost or has a possibility of giving something else like the stronghold gives an attack boost and I think it will max out at about 150 and then these other ones I'm not sure how high they will actually go but or boost can help if you want to do that and now for the workshop basically the workshop is just a power up for your gear currently it is not upgradable these you can't get in a pack or anywhere but later on this will be kinda helpful I mean it won't make a huge difference for our gear but for cores it will be pretty bad it'll give them quite a bit of attack boost the way it's showing right now it'll probably change later on because right now it is giving them a massive attack boost but for now this might be beneficial to upgrade I'm not sure on the power increases it might get quite large and kind of use, useless to do and I'm just going to go into this real quick kind of show you how it, how it works all you're going to do is go to your frost or your imperial click it and then do power essence and power up on the first one it only takes power essence on level two it takes this raw power which you cannot get this yet and I made another video on this if you want to go see how to actually get power essence right now and be able to go ahead and get your first plus on all your gear also for frost it gives a nice little defense bonus if you have not looked at this yet it will give some defense bonus for your frost Imperial give, gives a health bonus, Northern King gives a attack bonus. All the sets have a different boost depending on what it is. Like this has a altar boost duration. Uh, the dungeon gear gives a health bonus and each core gives a different bonus. Like Zeus gets an attack I believe, Artemis gets an attack boost, Nike gets an attack boost and so on and so on that is explained more in my other video if you want to go watch that now I'm gonna go over VIP and I went over this in another video but I'm gonna go ahead and do this again VIP is more of a convenience thing it's not really necessary it does give you a nice little defense boost but it's not a massive change it's not something you actually need but it would help if you got 21 20 22 somewhere around in there it would help but it's not something you really need most of this stuff in here is just convenience like VIP rally queue copy rally leaders march rally troop mismatch alert all this is really convenience for someone who's gonna lead rallies or field rallies or something like that hero skill preset one click core crafting set all this is really just convenience it's not something you really need and 18 will work fine 17 will work fine around in there all that's fine it's more convenience than an actual big boost it does give some defense like at 18 I get a 35 percent defense boost and then at let's just go ahead and look at 24 at 24 you get a 150 boost it's not a massive jump but it is some and if you wanna get there it will co cost quite a bit it will help a little bit but I wouldn't even bother trying to go too high in VIP it's not needed right now now for hero hero level you if you do not have enough to get to 64 right off the bat don't even bother leveling it up stay at 60 or 61 until you have enough because 62 and 63 are a lot of power you do not really need for really no gain until you can get to 64 so 61 and 60 will work fine now the good thing about 64 is it gives you a defense stat 
that adds 350% defense and that is a really nice jumping defense. Now gear that you want to use for this setup, Frost and Imperial mix with a kunai works the best. Now Colossus, Sola, Golden Shogun, they don't, I don't like to use those as well and I'm going to go into that a little bit in a minute. Now I use Frost Imperial and gems you want to use are defense gems. Pretty much anything with defense. The main ones you want to go for is defense, Bewark, Elusive, and Rainbow. If you don't have those, you want to go for Shadow, Honor, or Courage gems. And then after that, you want to go for Hallow gems. Uh, pretty much anything with defense. And then Elite Defense or Rainbow for the fourth slot. Now I'm going to go over Skill Tree real quick. And this is the skill tree I use on pretty much all my defensive presets. Basically just click until it unlocks the next one until you get down to this one. Troop defense, that's one you want to have. Troop defense too, you want that. All three of these individuals you want to max those out. The enemy attack debuff you want to do that and then alter boost defense and after that if you are not a 64 hero you are going to have just a ton of skill points you have not used basically you're just going to go put those into health and attack these right here will give you a nice little bump in health and attack if you want to do those you can use individual health on all three of these kind of keep them even a little bit you can use the health and defense debuffs if you want to. I would skip this because it's just going to get debuffed with these new cores. It's going to take all the health you'll get out of that. Individual attack, you can do that if you want to. Trap attack 2 and trap attack 1, you can max those out if you want to. I've only done one on this preset right here but those will help your traps kill a little bit more before they break and that's really about it for the skill tree now if you are a 64 hero you're just gonna keep going down this line after you get the basic defenses just keep going down here and max this one out and that's gonna give you that 350 percent boost and again if you do not have enough to get to 64 stay at 61 or 60 because these two levels right here, 62 and 63, are almost a 750 million power jump. And that's a lot of tier 2s you can use instead of having useless skill points that aren't really going to go anywhere until you get 64. And that is the skill tree I use for all my presets. And you want to have several presets mixed up or at least have several of these pieces on hand so you can switch if you do not use presets. I use two kunais, one kunai, three kunai, and a full defense set. Make sure you have those ready to go. And these are going to be used on different hits. And let me explain that a little bit. Like if you're going to set in this, and this is called gem baiting, if you're going to set in this right here, someone is going to gym for super heavy defense debuff and that's when you would switch to three kunais, two kunais, or one kunai but you have to make sure and kinda be a little bit experienced and know that they actually are gonna gym it that way if they do not gym it that way and they gym for attack instead and you switch to three kunais you're probably gonna burn a little bit lose quite a bit of troops and it works the same way with the three kunais and they're going to gym for all attack and that's when you would switch to full defense or just one kunai and which this set right here will be your all around best set to use this will work best for most hits I very rarely come out of this set this set I use most of all and it works it's the most well rounded set the defense is not dropped low enough and it's not uh, the defense is not low enough 
for them to gym for all attack and win. It's not low. It's not low enough for them to gym for all defense debuff and still win. Now the good thing about the kunai, if you have not heard anything about this and you don't even know why it's in there, the kunai basically the only reason you are using it is for this right here the defense debuff resistance that takes 30 percent of their defense debuff away so let's say they're coming at you with 2000 defense debuff they're going to be left with about 1200 or so and that's why the kunai is great and if you add more than one kunai this number will actually be less on the next one it'll actually only go up to about 50 and that's why I only use one most of the time because the more kunais you add the less effective each one will actually become they still take off defense debuff they are just less effective and if you want to read more about that it's on some of the websites and you can go read about that now I'm gonna go over Colossus and Golden Shogun and stuff like that and kinda of tell you the difference and why I don't use that myself with the Imperial and Frost I have around 3600 defense almost 3600 it's around in there and you can actually get this a lot higher if you have the Bulwarks or Elusives but my gems are actually pretty basic and you should be able to get 35 very easily if you cannot get there there is something off with the skill tree or gems and you probably need to contact me or somebody and get a little bit of help there because 35 is about the basic minimum you should have it's pretty easy to get there and those gems you can get in the bazaar or out of Athena boxes sometimes and those gems are pretty easy to get but the reason I do not use Colossus or Golden Shogun or Sola, they have split defense, which I do not like that because it puts about 2,000 right here and then like 2,600 right here, something like that. Anyways, these new cores like Artemis, they have both individual defense debuff and troop defense, a lot of it. So when you are wearing Colossus and you have 4,000 defense and you think you're unburnable, you are also losing double the defense than I am. Because they're running around with about 1,500 individual and then like 2,000 troop defense. And you are going to get hit by both of it. And if you're wearing a kunai, it's going to take only the troop defense away. And you still got to deal with the full individual defense debuff and that's going to leave you with around 2000 defense whereas I'm only going to deal with the one debuff because the individual does not go in the negative and even if it does it does not make a difference not that I've noticed it does not make much of a difference even if it does so I only have to really deal with the one debuff and my kunai takes half of it so I'm still left with 2,500, 3,000 defense around in there when you are getting hit with double what I'm losing. And that's kind of why I don't like those sets. Also individual defense. When defending it is a little bit weaker. It may work a little better when you're attacking or holding a wonder or something like that. But defensively I have results that individual does not work as well and that's just why I don't like using those sets as bad grab my Athena real quick now I'm gonna go over troop counts a little bit troop count with this setup is gonna be based on your defense now I have 3500 around 3600 in between there so I have around 1 billion troops right now. Now if you try to copy my setup and you do not have the defense that I have, yours is lower, you are probably going to burn because you will need more troops 
if you have more defense than I have, you will probably need less troops and you'll be fine with this troop count, but that's a lot of power you probably won't need if you have higher defense. Now I have not updated for the new March size, the 8 million rallies, but it will not take much. I will probably do another video on that to kind of give you more than just a guess. Right now I've not been hit by an 8 million yet, so I can only guess on where we're actually going to jump to. But it won't be much of a increase, if at all, or change. I'll give you guys an update on that when I get a hit from it. But I only use regular tier 2s. I don't use strategic or wilds. And because strate I mean regulars are strategically better for defense, they have a lot better defensively than strategic or wild does. And that's why I use those. And then of course I have plenty of tier 4s to support the nerf ratio. And I use strategic tier 4s just because sometimes I feel a rally or something like that. So I have a mix of regular and strategic tier 4s. Now the nerf ratio, if you do not know what that is, that is a 12.5 to 1. And all that means is 12 tier 2s for every tier 4. Like if you have 1 million tier 4s, you can have 12 million tier 2s. Now there is another nerf ratio, but I stay under my 12.5 because I know it's safe. But there's another one that says 13 to 1 or something like that. And if you want to go for that, you can try it, but I'm staying under my 12.5 because I know it's safe. Now I'm just going to go over this again. Defense levels that you want to have, 3,500 should be pretty easy to get. And the way I'm doing that is I'm adding my individual, which is 312 on each of these. And then adding it to this number, which is my troop defense bonus. And it is 3,567. And that is my total defense. And this troop count goes with this defense. If your defense is any lower, let's say it's 3,000, you're probably going to want between 1.2 to 1.5 billion troops as of right now. And if your defense is any higher, let's say 4,000, you're probably going to want around 900 million troops. That may work for that. Troops are based off your defense on this setup. And if you need more exact numbers on that, you can contact me in game. I don't mind at all, guys. I'll help you out. I'll even invite you to my trap room and get you guys working on becoming a trap if you have not started yet or you just need some help building it. So contact me in game if you need more explanation. I think I've covered pretty much everything already. If you guys need more, just contact me and I'll help you out. If I missed anything, I'm sorry guys, and I'll go over it again later after I notice what I missed. Thanks for watching the video, guys. And again, I'll see you in the next one.